We're continuing now in the Brisa here on Daf Yutesamid Base. And we're up to the third line from the top of the Om. Kansa Umes. If Shimon marries Sarah, and he was Miyabimha, a regular classic Yibum Gomu. He's also married to Rivka besides Sarah. Who makes now Shimon dies without children. Now Levi is born. And the Allah is now that both Sarah and Rivka, Sarah, who was once married to the late Ruven, and Rivka, the wife of Shimon, why? Levi was not Ba'olamo, neither of Ruve nor of Shimon. Raisa continues. If a third brother was born, Levi, there, after the birth of Levi, Shimon was Miyabim Sar Umes, Shteyam Pturis Menachalitzim and Ayibo. Sara is Pturim and Ayibum because Levi wasn't born yet. And Levi's status and relationship with Sara is that of Ashes Achshlo Hoybil Bolomov, the first ball of Ruven. So for sure, Sara doesn't need Yibum from Levi. Rivka, is a tsara of Ashes Akshala Hayabalama. So she too is Pturim and Achalitza Minayib. Raisa continues. Nasa, Shimon was Miyabim Sara, Vinolad Lo Ach, and then Levi was born. The Achach may Shimon Lo Banim. And Shimon has another wife. And now Shimon dies. Is Shteyam Pturis Minachalitza Minayib. Sara is an Ashes Achshalahi Balama, and Rivka is the Tsara. Divrei Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Shimon Omer, Hoel, at the time that Levi was born, Ba Umitsa'a Beheter, the Zika of Ruvain was already Paka, and now Ashes Ruvain Rachel is under the Zika of or Ishes of Shimon, below Omda Olav Shach has the There was never an Isser of Ashes Achshel Ahoy Bolamo. Because Levi was born after the Yibum of Shimon to Rachel. So therefore, by both Rivka and Rach and Sarah, both Rivka and Sarah, and Sarah was his Yabma Shimon. Is miyabim liezim and shiyirtzah chol tzelim and shiyirtzah? Because now the two wives of Shimon, Sara and Rivka, with the death of Shimon, fall for yibum together to Levi. One these yibum or chalit. Now the Gemara is going to prove something from this brace. Above the Sefer, the last din in this price that Kana Shimon and Sarah, the Achikach Nolad Levi, and they're both Pturis Mina Chalitza Mina Yibum, Leman Ketonila. To whom can we attribute this Shita? E Lame, if you're going to tell me, the Rabbi Meir Ketonila, to teach you that Poter Afbofin Zemi Chalitza Viyibum. Michti, lo shani le the Rabbi Meir ben Yibam, Yibam v'yachach nolad le ben nolad v'yachach Yibam. In both cases, it generates an isra and sarah vis-a-vis levi. Is therefore lar binu v'lisninu. The Tana could have integrated together all the bavas. It could have said the following: Kansa u'meis. 
So why was this brisa split into two bubbles? And after each each bava, if each scenario, it says shteim to rose minachalitza minayimu. Elola by process of elimination is Rabbi Shimon. This brisa <coughs> should be attributed to Rabbi Shimon, and it says nolad viachach yimem. And that's the shita of Rabbi Shimon. That in a case of nolad viachach. Is also Levi Besara here since there was a Shas Isa before the Yivu, because right after the death of Ruvain, Levi was born. Therefore, even Reb Shim would be mowed in that case. We have a clear cut situation of Ashes Achiv Shalohayu Bolama. The Kevin Shines for Shalachas doesn't matter if. Shimon is later on. The machlokas between the Chachamim and Reb Shimon should be whittled down. Dafka to the case where the Yibam took place first, Shimon was Miyabim Eishes Ruven, and then Shimon died. When Levi is born, Shimon has already replaced Ruven. Shmamino. And therefore, we conclude that Rav Papa is correct, not Rav Oshia. Because Rav Oshia was not there, even in the case of Nolad Ulabas Sofim, based on the principle of Zika Kikhnusa. Omar Mar, go back to the Brisa. Omar Hasheni Lasos Maimer Biavimto. Below his pick, Lasos Maimer be a vimpa chenol lo ach umes. Is Rishona Yotza Mishumeshis Ochim Shalohoi Bolomo? Ushnia Ocho lets us almost ya bem. So now the Gemara asks the following question. What is the significance of the fact that he wanted to be Miyabim um, Har, or in this case, he wanted to uh, give a Maimar? If he did do Maimar, then we have to be machmer and consider her married to him. If he didn't do Maimar, then she's not Keishto. And therefore, Rivka should be Muteris Piyibum. She's not at Tzara. So what is the price of coming to tell me that Afilu, even in a case where he was Ahmad Lasos Maimar, ain't no Ishto. I mean, what difference does it make if he thought about doing Maimar and he... And he planned to do so, but he didn't do it. El and Aligamar reinterprets the rice. Ahmad Midaita, he was originally planning to get her agreement to the Maimar, below Hispic Midaita. He did not succeed in getting her approval. Ella Balkarcha, he did have enough time before he died to give a mimer against her will. And she's not Mekudesh And this is a Machlokas Tanoi. The Loki Rebbe. Rebbe is going to, as we soon see, hold that mimer is going to be Yavama, even Bal Korcha Shal Yov. He's going to equate mimer with Yibu. Again, it's only a Kenya but mixed us. It doesn't make Rivka into a Tzara to Generate an Easter on the Yavam Midin Saras Erev. The Sanya Ha'utsa Maimer Biyavimto Shalomi Datva Rebbe Omer Kana V'Chachamam Lokana By Kaimid the Rebbe 
Gomar, mi bio diavoma, ma bio diavoma balkorcha, af kidushin diavoma balkorcha. When the Rabbonin created a new entity called Maimer Biavimbo, they forged it in the image of Yibum itself. And Yibum itself is even Balkarcha. And the Gemara is going to dash in the Yibma Afil Bala Biones Kna. And that is back on Dav Chesam and Beis. Rabbonon, Rabbonon hold Gemara Mi Kedushin the Alma. The Rabbonon established Maimar in the image of Kedushin. Ma Kedushin the Alma El Nidata. Af Kedushin the Yivama is Eina Kona El Nidata. B'may Kom Mifugi Mar Sovar. Mili the Yivama Mili the Yivama Havi Le Lemelaf. This is Rebbe. We should derive from an analogy between Yivama. And Yevoma, meaning Maimer and Yevoma. Hence, Afilu Bal Korchis Kon. But Marsav, the Chachomer of the opinion that Mili de Kedushin, Mimeli, Mimili de Kedushin, Havi Lilimef. We should equate Kedushin with Kedushin, or Abundant established Maimer as a valid form of Kedushin. And Kedushin requires Hadas. <coughs> now we go back to the Bryce of Rab Shim. Also, Ba. Maimar, so Shimon did a Maimar in Ashes Ruven. Be'akach noled lo ach, and then Levi was born. Oshe noled lo ach. First Levi was born. Be'akach also a Maimar. Umes. Mishoni yotze mishum Ashes achim shal hoy ba'olam. Ushniya chal letzes v'lo mitzia benes. Reb Shimon Omer be'also chal itzos shal achas men puteres sarasa. Now, we're going to have to figure out when Rabbi Shimon holds that there is a nefila for Yibum, what case is he talking about? Is he going back to the case of Nolad Ach, the Achakach Osoba Maimar? Because it would seem logically that in such a case there's no nefila for Yibum. So the Gemara asks, Rabbi Shimon, I hey koi. I lema noled lo ach. The achakach osobo maimar. And on this, Rabbi Shimon says that if Levi is miyabem or cholitz rivka, H. Shimon, that generates a tour even <coughs> for Sarah, who's the balas ha maimar. Or says that's impossible. But Amrit, we've already established in Rabbi Shimon that Benola himself he made low polygraph chimit. When Levi was born and there was never and there was not yet a Yibu of Shimon, then we apply the principle of Ashes of Tzolai Belom and Kevin Shneser Shach as Shuvein Lehetor Olamis. Elo says the Gemara Esa Ba Maimar Veachach Nola Lo Ach. Rabbi Shimon is talking about a case where Shimon, the second brother, said, I will do a Maimar. And then Levi was born. So in Manavshach, Rivka is Muteris. If Maimar is Konakinian Gomor, then even Sara is Muteris. Like, it, like the din of Yibam, Ulub Sof Nolat. And Sora is Nifteris be Yibum Vichalitza. And, and Sora is Nifteris be Chalitza as Rivka. So it means it's Shtey Yavamos, Bos, me Bias Echa. That's on the side that Maimer is Conan. And if we say that Maimer is not Conan, then 
Bain Kach Muteris Lo Rivka, still in any event, Rivka is Muteris, Shein at Sara Klaal Shul Sara. Sara is Petura, Bain Min Achalitza, Bain Min Ayithum, because if Ain Maimar Kona, then Areze Kidnolad Levi, Kodem Sheibim Shimon, the Asur he alav Keshe Sishlo Chayba Lama, Petur Min Achalitza, Bain Ayithum. So what does Rabbi Shimon add? He writes, Cholatz Labalas Maimar Lo Niftera Hatzara. And the Torah here is a reference to Isha Shimon. Is my timer? Why isn't she Petura? Yishum Davile Tzara Bevada. She's definitely Chayevus in Yibam Echalitza. Because it's Eishes Ochiv Hasheni Shahaya Bolom. The Ilu Balas Maimar Suffolk is a Suffolk if it's Kone or not. Then <coughs> And therefore, a suffix is not going to be motimide vadai, a vade chiu of Asia Sheni upoteros. But this is where we'll stop. We're up to Yosef Bar Rav Menashe. And I wish you all Shabbat Shalom.